Welcome back to another fire video of World Box. Potentially the best game ever made? Hmm, I don't know about that, but it's pretty good. Today we're checking out a very interesting world. At first glance, it might not look like much. Nothing too crazy, a couple of different biomes, a couple of different kingdoms. But buckle up, because this place is a hoot. Let me give you the tour. First, we got the desert fans. Wait a second, that's two S's. That's dessert fans. Okay, well, they're actually fans of dessert. They might actually hate living in the desert. What you got there? Is that like a donut? Like a jelly donut? Well, anyway, these are the uh, dessert fans, I guess. And they live out here in Arcane Sands. And they're humans. And we'll be keeping an eye on them. And they're gigantic king. This guy definitely loves dessert. That's for sure. Honestly, same. Over here, we got Elf on the Ledge. I think it's supposed to be Elf on the Shelf, but I guess they got it wrong. But close enough, you know? It doesn't rhyme, which is the whole point. But that's fine. They're over here living in the woods. They got a pretty good starting spot, honestly. They got all this grass biome to start with. And if they're smart, they'll move up this way. And look at all this more grass up here they got a great spot up here we've got crystal mountain again they spelled it wrong they spelled it with a k and not a c this is the crystal biome is it not why did you spell it with a k i want to speak with your king where are they you there oh their name is crystal with a k okay so it's just a weird coincidence i guess that they named it crystal mountain after i guess their king being named crystal it has nothing to do with these crystals like i said this world's crazy there's a lot of stuff going on in here that doesn't make any sense but this is not even the best part yet because i just discovered there's this dude living over on this island named benjamin He's level 999,999. He's got, what is this, 20 million health? And pretty much all the traits you could ever want. One of which is tiny. But he doesn't know he's tiny. He's the only person on his whole island. In fact, the only thing vaguely human looking on his island are the fairies. And they're even smaller than him. So in his perspective, he's actually giant. And we'll let him keep thinking that. But yes, over here on this enchanted island is Ben Town. Population of just one guy, Benjamin himself. Benjamin has a lot of energy. He likes to get stuff done. Look at that little guy building this big old thing. What's it gonna be, Benjamin? What you making there, Benjamin? Another giant tent. That's way too big for you. Very cool. Yep, with all these things combined, this is surely gonna be a weird world to observe. Something I forgot to mention is that Benjamin is sort of a, I don't know if I want to call him a werewolf, but he sort of goes a little crazy at night. He gets a little quirky, you could say, when the moon comes out. But luckily that won't happen. Wait a second. Which age is up next? Age of moon? Oh, okay. Well, that's 640 moons away. Oh no, my hand slipped and we fast forwarded until the age of moon. The moon is out and Benjamin is having trouble sleeping. Well, on the bright side, the elves actually get buffed at night because they've got moon child. So, I mean, they're probably pretty happy about that. I mean, as long as Benjamin stays on his island, we're probably okay, right? Uh-oh. Benjamin, what's going on? Why do you look like that? Oh no, dude. He's mad. And not only that, he swam across the ocean to get here. Gosh, I hope nothing bad happens. Did you see that? He just punched a bunny in the face. Benjamin, you can't do this. These people are innocent. You've got to believe that. That's right, Benjamin. Run along. You got other places to be- Oh, he just went over there to kill some chickens, and now he's back to it. All right, well, at least the Age of Moon is probably almost over, right? Oh, no. This is going to be a long night, isn't it? A few moments later. All right, let's see if these kingdoms can survive Benjamin's rampage before he goes back to being the chill dude that we like him to be. Well, guys, this is not good. Elf on the ledge, more like elf on the edge of destruction because Benjamin uh, brings only bad news with him. I wonder if he's conscious while he does this because it seems like he's not happy with himself either. The moon takes over and he goes on a rampage. He can't stop it. He doesn't like it, but he can't stop it. No one else is at war though, that's nice. Do you think the dessert fans are aware? Do you think this king knows that Benjamin is coming? They just heard about Benjamin and they're not super happy about it. What about you guys? How's Crystal doing? Oh man, everyone is sad, bro. Everyone knows. Everyone had been told the prophecy of this day. Someday, an angry small guy named Benjamin would destroy them all, but they all laughed and said, what, a small guy is gonna destroy us all? Yes, actually. Very much exactly that. Not just a small guy. A small guy with a wood stick. He's on an absolute rampage. Look at him go, dude. The smallest, angriest guy I ever saw. It's weird how he selects random people. He'll be chased by 10 people, but he'll still run like a mile to go kill one random guy. It's like, why don't you just kill everybody? Why are you picking favorites? Is there truly no hope for this world? Is it only a matter of time before they are all destroyed? Oh, silly. Weren't you paying attention? You didn't notice this tiny little island over here? With a little guy named William. He's got his own little candy island. The problem with his candy island, though, is that there's no candy, and he's getting sick of that. And for that reason, he chose to go for a little swim to the mainland. 
Could this be it? Could this be the counter to Benjamin? The hero we need? Someone stronger than Benjamin himself that can take him down and restore peace to the world? Wait, why are they fighting him? Oh no, dang. I really thought that was gonna be it, but now there's actually just two of them. And even though he's one level less than Benjamin, he's got twice as much health because he's a big little guy. Benjamin still enacts his vengeance upon the elves for no real reason, other than the fact that the moon makes him a little crazy. Surely the Age of Moon is almost done by now, right? Right? Oh no, we're only like a third of the way there. I'm not sure the elves are gonna survive that long. At least they still have their farms, right? Oh no, Benjamin, please. Benjamin, don't do it. Benjamin, what is wrong with you? Perhaps all Benjamin really wants is a little peace and quiet. Maybe he just wants a good night's sleep, but he can't handle the noise caused by this big island over here. Perhaps he believes that wiping out everyone on this whole continent will finally get him a good night's rest. Although it looks like his island was taken over while he was busy doing that, so he's gonna be pretty upset when he gets home. All right, let's check on William. Oh no, William. These dwarves should be your friends. They're just like you. No way, man. These guys are tiny and I'm huge. Yeah, but like they're tiny because they're dwarves and you're also a dwarf. You're just a really big one for some reason. You see, at least Benjamin has motives we can kind of understand. We don't agree with them, but we can kind of understand. You know, the moon comes out. He wants to get a good night's rest, so he goes and destroys everyone that's keeping him up. William, on the other hand, I don't know. He's just mad that his island had no candy. I mean, look at that. There's candy now, but he's never going to know that because he's over here looking for candy in the lemon biome and i don't think he's gonna find it because he's too busy killing everybody but look at this we're almost halfway through the age of moon there's a chance these kingdoms may survive well maybe not the elves i don't think they're looking very good maybe not the dwarves either to be honest but the humans i mean their population is declining but you know what maybe they'll have a chance maybe they will be left alone long enough although since william's looking for candy i don't know if your kingdom being named dessert fans is quite the right move i think he might come by to ask you some questions. Look at that. Benjamin's way up here in the dwarf territory now, destroying all of it. Benjamin, these people are dwarves just like you. No way, man. These people are giant and scary. But they're dwarves just like you. They're actually pretty small. It's just that you're extra small. Gosh, these guys do not listen to reason, huh? Well, now that Benjamin is up in the dwarf territory, where's William at? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh no, he's in the human's kingdom now. The last kingdom that actually had a chance. Although both of them have now left the elves alone, so there's a chance the elves could pull through. It's not a very good chance, but I mean, they're working their way towards the end of the Age of Moon. If they can just hold on a little bit longer. Oh no, William's met his match. Someone taller than him. William feels frightened. He's never seen anyone bigger than him before. And that stick. Where did she find one so big? Surely this will be the end of me. I knew my rampage had to end eventually. I know I'm not invincible, I'm just strong. Oh no, I'm not ready to die. Oh, okay. It was actually just like a regular person, so. All right, carry on. Oh, man, Benjamin's way up here in the dwarf territory. Look at them, down to 51 population. Fourteen population, thirteen population, twelve. Meanwhile, William's over here destroying the humans. Seventy-five population, seventy-four population, seventy-three population. Guys, you just gotta hang on for ninety-seven more moons, and we'll be back to the Age of Hope. Hang in there. Crystal Mountain has been destroyed. Benjamin, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm having the strangest dream right now, but I hope I wake up soon. Benjamin, no. This is real. This is real life. This isn't a weird dream. You're actually killing these people. Man, that'd be crazy if that was true. <laughs> I'd feel really bad about that. That's unfortunate, Benjamin. Hey, look, Crystal Mountain's still here. Nice, they survived. Benjamin, hey, stop that. Oh, uh, well, now they're gone. Oh no, Benjamin's now at the humans area. Wait, isn't William down here too, though? Where's William at right now? Oh, he's way down here. Okay, he's at the elves' other village. They're getting closer to each other, William and Benjamin. Do you think that they'll be enemies or do you think they'll be friends? I do not know, to be honest. William is over here obliterating elves and crabs alike. But their last village is across the water, so they might actually be okay. Because look at this. The Age of Moon is almost over. Oh no, do you see what I see? Benjamin's here at the same elf village as William. As they both take turns destroying these poor elves, eventually these two bloodthirsty maniacs make eye contact. You, you're like me, only tiny. You, you're like me, only big. I'm sorry, little one, I have to destroy you. I'd like to see you try, you big dumb idiot. Benjamin's insult was weak and honestly kind of embarrassing. Oh, they chased each other and oh, they fought, actually taking damage from each other. Neither of them 
them had felt this way before. No one had been able to actually hurt them until now. And suddenly, the sun came out. They both snapped out of it. Oh man, I just had the strangest dream I was fighting a giant bald guy after destroying half of the world single-handedly. Man, I just had the strangest dream I was fighting some creepy little guy after destroying half the world single-handedly. They then looked around them and realized that was no dream. That was real life. Oh man, maybe that wasn't a dream. Oh gosh, I gotta go home. That's so embarrassing. So Benjamin swam across the ocean back to his familiar home only to realize... Wait a minute. Who are you guys? How you doing, partner? We're the settlers of this island. We came here about a hundred years ago when it was unoccupied. Oh, weird. I thought I lived here. Nope, we live here. Oh, heck. Well, can I stay here? Sure. As long as you're not like a maniac or something. Nope. I'm just a regular guy with a big old stick. And then they lived peacefully together on the enchanted island. And William went home to his candy island and ate some candy. So it's a pretty happy ending for him, too. It warms my heart to see them all getting along. Oh, no. Not again. Benjamin, please don't do this. Oh, no. Not again. 